Alright fellas, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if this is your first time here, we don't discriminate. In today's video, we're going to be having a look at how CSGO and gambling YouTubers make their money, so you guys can get an idea of how some of these YouTubers that don't even have that many subs can afford some crazy videos. Just before we do get into that though, I just want to let you guys know that I post brand new CSGO content every few days, every single week. So if you guys want to keep updated with when I'm posting to see the trade up videos or videos like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. It really does uh, help me out a lot and I appreciate it so much. Also, if you guys are playing on any sort of CSGO site such as Gamdom or Rollbit, be sure to use code ADDITIVE, it supports me so much and it will get you some sort of bonus. Normally it will be free money or a deposit bonus. So yeah, be sure to use that code. If you guys want, uh, obviously you can use whoever's code you want, but if you use mine, I really do appreciate it. But yeah, anyway, that's enough of that, let's get back into the video. So as I said, the topic of this video is going to be looking at how certain YouTubers who mainly are in the CSGO scene make their money. And I'll tell you guys right now, most of their income is definitely not from YouTube. So most of my information for this video comes from just learning about this sort of thing through speaking to people and through being a YouTuber myself. As much as I have a very small channel, I still do have an idea of how people are making money. And obviously I'll be transparent with you guys and let you guys know how I have actually made some money from YouTube, which I appreciate so much. Thank you guys for helping me with that. So uh, yeah, overall I would say I have a pretty educated view on how these people are making money. So uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. So the first income for most CSGO YouTubers is obviously going to be YouTube views. Now this definitely can be a very big amount of money depending on the channel size, but it's definitely not the main income for 90% of CS YouTubers. For some reason YouTube really doesn't like CSGO YouTubers so they do not pay much per thousand views. For example, most, um, I don't know, business or beauty channels might get paid something between 10 to $11 per 1,000 views. But from reading stuff like Reddit forums and what people are saying they've been making, it seems that the average for people that focus on a, this kind of game make about 2 to $2.5 per 1,000 views, which is way below many other kind of channels. Now, I'm not going to personally go on people's channels and have a look at the views they're getting and work out their uh, money they'll be making from views. But obviously it would be quite simple maths, you just look at how many views they have, divide that by a thousand, then times it by about 2.5. Obviously it's just an estimate, uh, it might be a bit less or a bit more, maybe even a lot more for some YouTubers. But that is a pretty good uh, starting point to go off. So the next source of income for CSGO YouTubers and streamers is through affiliate codes. Now this one right here, this is the big one, this is where most of uh, the money is coming in. And if you have a big channel, especially a channel that does CSGO gambling, affiliate codes can make you an insane amount of money. Now an example of where we can see this very clearly is uh, on the YouTuber Foss's channel, who is a great YouTuber for CSGO and normal gambling, I'll definitely recommend checking him out. But yeah, pretty much a few months ago in February, he made a video of not claiming his affiliates on the site DatDrop for one month. Now, if I remember correctly, this was at the point when he had about 15,000 subscribers, so definitely not a small channel, but by no means big. And in this one month, just from the website DatDrop alone, he made just under $30,000 from affiliate codes. That is an insane amount of money. Now, as Foss mentioned in the video, he does make a lot from affiliate codes compared to other YouTubers because his audience consists a lot of high rollers, which are people that are going to be depositing very big amounts of money and obviously who will get a percentage of that. But still, it really does make you think what CSGO gambling YouTubers with maybe closer to a million subscribers are earning. It's pretty scary to think about, to be honest. I would not be surprised if there's a lot of people making well over 100000 a month. So now we're onto the part of the income that I'm not as sure about. And that is the money that YouTubers will earn through sponsorship deals. Many CSGO websites give people money or cases and keys in return for that YouTuber to make a video that uh, either promotes the site or uses the site. Now, you guys have probably seen this sort of thing happening such as Skin Baron sponsoring uh, Anomalies case openings. And any gambling YouTubers within the CS scene uh, normally get quite a bit of sponsored balance from the sites that they're using. Now obviously the stuff that we see in the videos most likely won't be all of the money because let's say there's a, I don't know, a year contract to promote a site. The uh, company will obviously be paying a fair bit of money especially depending on the size of the YouTuber. Honestly we can only imagine how much certain YouTubers are getting paid for this sort of thing. People such as Sparkles and Anomaly probably get paid massive amounts to promote a site and it does make sense from the site like a lot of people see the videos and for a site like Skin Baron having Anomaly 
promote them is going to be so helpful. Like I hadn't heard of them before I saw them in his video. And I actually have gone on to use them, which means they've earned money through me and therefore through their sponsorship. But as I said earlier, this one is up to the imagination. I obviously have no experience with sponsorships or proper sponsorships anyway. So I can't really tell you guys how much uh, people are paid exactly. But let's just say it is going to be a very big amount, especially for the larger YouTubers. So that moves us on to the next topic of this video, and that is how much money I have made from my 500 subscriber YouTube channel. Obviously, I appreciate every single one of you that have subscribed, but compared to other channels, 500 is still very small in the grand scheme of things. In fact, I've actually earned zero pounds from YouTube alone, uh, meaning views and that, because I haven't hit the 1000 subs and the watch time that I need to get to be monetized, which would mean I'd start making money from views. However, as you guys have seen, I do promote affiliate codes for sites like Rollbit and TradeUpSpy. And when you guys use this code, in case you didn't realise, I do get a percentage of the money that is uh, spent. And in total, I have made just about £40, which is just over 50 US dollars. And all of that has been from referral codes. Honestly, for a channel my size, that is a big amount of money. And I couldn't be more grateful for that. It really helps me out because uh, I've used all of that money going into trade-ups, giveaways. And now I'm saving up to upgrade my computer because I'm pretty sure that's been the issue of my recording. So yeah, thank you guys so much for using the code. The support on that has been crazy. And yeah, I just really appreciate it overall. Well, anyway, that's about everything I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave something in the comments and maybe even leave a like. It really does help out because YouTube hates CSGO channels at the moment, so every like helps. And yeah, that's about everything. So I'll see you guys in the next one.